PPO is a well-known doping drug in many sports, including cycling. It stimulates the production of red blood cells, which carry oxygen to the muscles. Therefore, cyclists think this could improve their performance. To investigate this, the Center of Human Drug Research studied the effects of EPO on cycling performance in well-trained cyclists. In total, we included 48 cyclists, of which half received EPO injections and the other half placebo injections. On April 4th, 2016, Participants started the study that would last 11 weeks. They received one injection of EPO, or placebo, every week for eight weeks, and in this period performed two types of laboratory tests to measure performance. A maximal exercise test leading to exhaustion was performed before the first injection and every two weeks during the treatment period. For the other test, participants performed a time trial of 45 minutes a sub-maximal exercise test. This test was done twice, once before the first injection and after seven weeks of treatment. So, let's see how the cyclists did. Baseline levels of VO2 max during the maximal exercise test were similar for both groups, but already after two weeks, a difference started to show in favor of the EPO group, which persisted over the entire treatment period. A second maximal performance parameter, maximal power output, showed a comparable effect of EPO. In the sub-maximal exercise test mimicking a time trial, both groups started out at the same level as well. In contrast to the maximal test, however, after seven weeks of treatment, there was no difference observed between the two groups in this test. Although these two laboratory tests measure several aspects of cycling performance, real races are won on the road, not in the laboratory. So, to verify the effect of EPO on road racing, our participants raced the Mont Ventoux at the end of the treatment period. After a 110 km course, each participant raced to the finish line at the top of the climb. The average time of both groups was calculated, and in this real-life road race, the EPO group did not perform any better than the placebo group. So, in one overview, Although we saw an effect of EPO on maximal exercise performance in well-trained cyclists, this effect was much less clear in a sub-maximal time trial-like test and completely disappeared in a real-life road race to the top of Mont Ventoux.